Good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, this uh, press statement of Commissioner Renders. We're here to bring good news uh, this morning. Are you aware of the successful uh, conclusion of the, of the trilogues uh, yesterday evening on what was formerly called the Digital Green Certificate, now the EU Digital COVID Certificate. Uh, Commissioner Reinders, glad to have you in the press room on this, and without further ado, I give the floor to you. Well, thank you very much. It's true that we have a new name for such <laughs> an instrument. It was the last decision maybe uh, yesterday. Uh, bonjour à, à toutes. And good afternoon to everyone. I'm here with good news for all European citizens. I'm very happy to be here in the press room to share it with you. Yesterday, negotiators from the European Parliament and the Council of Ministers, with the support of the Commission, reached an agreement which guarantees each European citizen the right to have a digital COVID certificate for the summer. Uh, it was back in March, that uh, the 17th of March, that the Commission addressed the subject and proposed legislation. And today, only two months after adoption of the Commission's proposal, we have an agreement with the European Parliament and the Council. This is an historic moment, and personally, I'm very proud of all the work done by the Commission services and uh, those of the three institutions. The three institutions uh, worked together in a very effective manner. They held many meetings, and uh, they've reached this historic agreement in record time. And this reflects the determination of everyone involved when it comes to one of the fundamental rights in the Union, free movement. We've worked to ensure that European citizens can move about more easily within the European Union while being protected from health risks due to COVID. And this tool make it possible to support the sectors of the economy that depend on free movement. Once again, I would like to thank the negotiators involved from the Parliament and the Council, particularly Rapporteur Juan Fernando López Aguilar, and the negotiator for the Presidency, Portuguese Ambassador Nuno Brito, as well as all the teams in the Commission who worked day and night for more than two months to lead to the success we achieved at the Trilog. Digital COVID certificate. As of the 1st July, three types of certificates will be available. A certificate of vaccination, a certificate for a negative test, and a certificate of recovery. All of them will be free of charge for all EU citizens. And it will be possible to have them in a digital format on a digital device or to be printed, uh, printed out on paper if you want. Regarding the cost of the required test, the Commission, the commission will also mobilize an additional 100 million euros to support member states in providing affordable tests. So it's a new amount of money that we will uh, take in the uh, emergency support instrument to uh, organize a better process to affordable tests uh, for all. The, uh, the regulation also highlights the role of rapid antigen tests as an affordable means to facilitate the uh, issuance of test certificates. I want to recall that the Commission already organized for Member States a joint procurement over 2.6 billion euros, allowing them to purchase 550 million rapid antigen tests. In addition, the Commission had already mobilized 100 million euros to purchase over uh, 20 million rapid antigen tests. But now we are coming, as I said, with an additional budget of 100 million for all the tests uh, in the near future because we will start uh, the process about the, the procurement. It is also important to recall that the regulation underlines that Member States shall refrain from imposing additional travel restrictions on the holders of an EU digital COVID certificate unless 
they are necessary and proportionate uh, to uh, safeguard public health. The weekly color-coded map of the CDC and the previous Council recommendation on a coordinate approach to free movement restrictions will be particularly relevant in this context. And as I, I already said in the past, uh, member states may also decide to use or certificate for national purposes if this is provided for a national law. So it will be possible with a national law to decide about different kind of other use of the same certificate that we will have in place on the 1st of July. In the spirit of maximum efficiency, the Commission has also been working with Member States in parallel on the technical side. For example, Member States need to be able to check the validity of a certificate no matter where in the European Union it was issued. To enable this, the Commission set up the EU Gateway where Member States can upload their public signature keys that prove the validity of certificates. Over the last weeks, this has been put to the test and there are good results from this first pilot phase so far. To this day, 17 Member States and Iceland have successfully tested their connection with the EU Gateway. But it is entirely in the hands of member states now to make sure they have the technical capacity in place, including to issue certificates. All member states must get fully ready during the month of June so they can hit the ground running when the regulation enters into force on 1st July. The Commission has allocated, allocated a million euro per member state and we will continue to provide technical support uh, wherever we can. And it's a, a real support to be sure that it's possible to start in all the member states with the logistical uh, capacities on the 1st of July because it is in all of interest uh, to make this work. Citizens will be able to travel safely businesses will be able to benefit from their spending and transport will be able to operate. And today, uh, we are one step closer to making this happen. So thank you, and of course, uh, I'm ready to answer to your question, but you know also that for the more technical question, you will have a sort of technical briefing later. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Uh, 